done it again, Lord. You've done it again. You are good and you are mighty and you are merciful. And you keep taking care of me when I don't deserve it. Praise you, Jesus. Give me another one, Lord. Guide me to who you want me to help. Raise up more that will call upon your name. Raise up those that love you and seek you and trust you. Raise them up, Lord. Raise them up. Lord, we need a generation of believers who are not ashamed of the gospel. We need an army of believers, Lord, that hate to be lukewarm and will stand on your word above all else. Raise them up, Lord. Raise them up. I pray for unity among those that you. I pray that you open their eyes so that they can see your truth. I pray for your hand of protection and guidance. Raise up a generation, Lord, that will take light into this world. That will not compromise when under pressure. That will not cower, Lord, when others fall. Raise them up, Lord, that they will proclaim that there is salvation in the name of Jesus Raise up warriors who will fight on their knees, who will worship you with their whole hearts, Lord. Lord, call us to battle that we may proclaim King of kings and Lord of lords. I pray these things with all my heart. Raise them up, Lord, raise them up. Take off your sandals. You are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are not alone. You belong to me. Hello everyone. I hope that you all have been doing well. I felt led to come on and to make you guys a quick update video. I've been at the doctor's offices a lot lately and I've been to the emergency room twice. And I'm speaking of the time after my last video and before this one. I was also sick with the flu or a version of it for about a month. I had lost my taste buds. So I would eat but there was either no flavor or just a really bad flavor. And I mean like foods you really enjoy. You couldn't taste anymore. Like there was no flavor to anything or like I said it just tasted really bad. And I had this really strange uh, metallic smell and taste that seemed to be you know in my sinus cavities and my chest I'm not sure what it was but it just reminded me of a, a metallic kind of smell and, and taste and for almost a month like three to four weeks every time I would eat something I would 
be so nauseous, so sick that I just had to throw up. And this just wouldn't stop. And so I was told that it's probably because the the virus was in my digestive system and I guess it could stay there for a long time. So it was just really crazy and it wasn't fun at all. And of course I would never have any type of, you know what, any type of um, jabs or anything like that, never. I even told the doctor at the hospital, I wouldn't even let him uh, test me for it. I wouldn't let him even put the, the thing in my nose. And so, yeah, that was, that was kind of a, an experience on its own. While I was there, one of the times I had to have x-rays on my hip socket and I was kind of going to the bathroom, right? And I could hear the radiologist kind of far away actually making fun of me because I had uh, my staff or my cane with me. And so I went to walk to the bathroom and as he's making fun of me and remember, you know, oh, he, they know they have no idea who I am. It just says in my charts, Jason. So he, he says, making fun of me to these, these nurses, he says, yeah, we got Moses back there walking around with his staff. I just found it was funny, but at the same time, it just had me thinking because it was oddly prophetic, or at least it felt that way. I had also filed for disability, but I was denied. For those who don't know, I've had back surgery and my discs have re-ruptured. They call them residual ruptures. I've had hip surgery with my hip socket being broken, so they had to wire it all together. And I've had four bladder surgeries. I have severe interstitial cystitis of the bladder. What happens is my lining of my bladder, the protective layer is gone. And so the acid and, and food and drinks, they kind of get in there and they burn little holes into your bladder lining. And the acid that is there starts to seep into your, your stomach. And it is just, just the most painful feeling ever. And it's like never, never goes away. That's the hard part about it. It just always is there. And so I've had to deal with that now for like 10, 15 years. I forgot the exact time frame, but it's been a while. So please, if you could, remember to keep me in your prayers and also pray that the Lord would provide for me financially because I've been pretty broke for a while now and times have been difficult, but at the same time, you know, they have taught me a lot and I just want you guys to know that I love you, I miss you, hopefully it won't take this long to put up another video because I do have a lot of stuff to share with you guys uh, as far as dreams and visions. But uh, I didn't want to kind of mix the two here in the same video. But I hope you all are doing well and that you are staying prayed up and reading your scriptures and just staying in relationship with Jesus Christ. And I would invite all who hear my voice to come unto him, to repent of your sins and to follow the perfect example that he has given you. And if you have not already done so, I invite you all to find a worthy brother in Christ and to be baptized by full submersion in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So until we meet again, my friends, I say these things in the name of our beloved Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. You've come in the final day. Oh, no, when God has held you in reserve for nearly 6,000 years, you have been with you. Our Mark generation. Our Mark birth at this particular time was God has saved for the final inning an army of you. You must be prepared to meet your God. The youth of the noble birth. You're part of the Lord's royal army. There are things for each of you to do that no one else can do. You can preserve as well as your special world. You, 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 you. Me?